leader's point of view. I'm going to give you the same survey we gave over 10,000 employers around the world. You ready? Here it is. Because my premise is the soft stuff's become the hard stuff. Here's the question. If you were hiring someone today and you had to choose between A, the person with the perfect skill set and qualifications but lacking the desired mindset, or the person with the desired mindset but missing some bits and pieces, who would you choose, A or B? 98% of the world's employers agree with you. When we asked them who they would pay, who would they promote, who they would retain, mindset, mindset, mindset. Then comes the second question. It gets very interesting. We asked them, we gave them the list of research grounded, all the dimensions of a winning mindset based on real research that we've been doing a lot of years. Guess what was number one of all of them? This thing we'll call resilience or grit. That was the single most important one worldwide. Make sense? Yes or no? Does, doesn't it? So then we ask this question. Describe the person you've ever worked with who really embodied that the most, that winning mindset, that element the most. And they'd say, oh, Sherry, she's amazing. She goes to the ends of the earth. She gets things done. She, I've never worked with anyone like her. You can always count on her. She's unbelievable. And we say, okay, here's the question. How many normal employees would you trade for one Sherry? What do you think the average answer is? Would you believe 7.3? They would trade 7.3. And with leaders, here's the question. When we ask who were the leaders who demonstrated this the most, leaders. And how many normal leaders would you trade for one with this element? The average answer was 8.4. So you know what this is saying? This is astonishing. Employers are saying, I would trade an entire team of people I hired that I recruited, screened, and hired to be part of our family. I'd trade a whole team of them for just one who has this. That's, you talk about creating value. You talk about driving value at a personal level. Can you think of anything much more potent than that? 